That is why since the 8th Congress, there have been no less than 300 measures filed in the House of Representatives calling for the amendment of these economic provisions of our Constitution. And we must allow this healthy and democratic debate to rage on, engaging and informing the minds of our citizenry, especially since the socio-economic development of our country is directly involved. I will neither hinder this dialogue nor encroach on the prerogatives of Congress and the sovereign will of the Filipino people. Our bicameral Congress and our built-in system of checks and balances are wonders to behold. We must allow our democratic institutions and their mechanisms made, made possible by our constitutional order to take their natural course. I want to make it clear this administration's position in, in, in introducing reforms to our Constitution extend to economic matters alone, or those strategically aimed, or those strategically aimed at boosting our country's economy. Nothing more. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.